<laughs> oh boy. I don't know if you can tell, I'm, I'm broadcasting quite a bit later than normal. It's because um, I just got off work. It was a very long day for me, a, a 10 hour, 10 hour work day. So, and then I just went to Walmart to pick up some more stuff, more food and of course uh, toilet paper. <laughs> but anyhow, um, just wanted to let you guys know what's going on and you know, um, why I might be disappearing here for a bit or not broadcasting as often. Um, work got to me and said that um, they're gonna shift me to full time. So I'm about to go full time soon. Hey everybody, I, I can sort of read your comments right now because I'm at a stoplight, but um, once I start driving again, I won't be able to um, to read. But anyhow, um, I'm going to be starting full-time work here very soon, and as a result, I will not have as much free time to do YouTube. Uh, but I want to let you know what's going on with the off-grid land. Um, I don't know if you guys saw me out there, I, I did show the land, and... You know, it is possible to set up camp out there. The problem is access to it is um, very, very severely limited. I mean, it's, it's difficult at best. So I'm going to need a 4x4 vehicle before I can even do anything out there. So my goal right now is um, actually still on the fence because to get a 4x4 vehicle is going to be very expensive. So even though I got the land fairly cheap, I'm gonna have to spend quite a bit of money getting a four x four, but then, you know, I have freedom. I can build and do all the stuff I wanted to do on my land. But um, it's gonna take time. So I know some of you are hoping that I could go out there and start building and stuff and, and doing all that, but you know, it takes time. It takes money, basically. And that I don't have right now. I also wanted to point out something interesting for those of you who haven't gotten your uh, stimulus check yet. You know, and we're wondering why you never got your stimulus check. I went to the um, the tax preparer the other day and found out what the problem is, why checks are missing. It turns out, I don't know if you guys are aware, I keep getting my money garnished. I keep getting taxes and stuff garnished every year. Remember student loans and um, child support and whatever else. Well, what happened that they didn't explain to people during the first round of stimulus payments was that if you owed money because of student loans or child support or any other bank that had a, a lien on you or some kind of interest in, in you owing, you know, paying them back, your stimulus check went directly to them. That's why when you check the IRS website, it says they sent it to you, but then you never got it from, you know, in your bank account or you never received the paper check. So if you're one of those people who was wondering what the heck happened to your stimulus check and you never got it and the IRS said they sent it, more than likely it got snatched right away from you before it even hit your bank account by um, student loan, you know, the federal loan or whatever program. I think it's bogus. So the money was supposed to be helping people and it went, you know, to the banks. That's what happened. That's what happened to me. But anyhow, um, the second and third round of stimulus though, it doesn't do that. So the second and third round of stimulus payments, it, um, it goes to your account because uh, when Biden took office, they immediately passed uh, legislation, not legislation, but he signed an uh, executive order saying they couldn't do that. That the banks could not take people's money that was supposed to be for COVID relief or stimulus money. So that's why you might have gotten the $600 and the $1,400, but you didn't get your $1,200, for those of you wondering. Because I couldn't figure it out until I, it got explained to me, you know, it got explained by the, um, the accountant. But as far as my, my situation, so anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, finish up here because I gotta, gotta answer that call here in a minute. But uh, basically, 
I am going to probably keep the land, you know, um, because it it has a lot of possibilities, you know, and, and would allow me to build and do all the stuff I want to do. But it's going to take time on it and money, so I have to kind of raise money and save money for that, and then still decide if I want to do that. The other thing is, I was talking about it with my wife, and you know, and she still wants to go to Thailand. <laughs> And so do I. It's like it's like you have this dream, and then you get sideswiped with another dream, and then you go, hey, you know. But I'm thinking it might be possible to do both. So in theory, what I could do is I could set up camp and actually retire in the United States. And because I could live in my camp or, you know, camp at my camp, okay, with a low cost, I could actually save money um, even in retirement, you know, even though I don't make a lot. But because cost of living is so low, it's almost like living in a van, but even cheaper. Because <laughs> you don't have gasoline expenses of driving everywhere. Although you still have to drive in and out, you know. But um, it could be cheap if you if you grow your own food on your own land. And you, um, you know, you just don't spend a lot of money. So you could save a lot of money if you have a, a place where you can camp out without having a vehicle to maintain. Other than, you know, just to get in and out of that place. So that's a potential plan. And then what would happen is if I had enough money saved up, I could actually go visit Thailand for an extended period. Like maybe three or six months of the year. Depending on how long they, you know, they let my wife stay because she's not a Thai citizen. So that would be a potential issue. So that's what I'm looking at right now. You know, and I don't know what's gonna if it's gonna actually play out that way, but that's what I'm looking at. So if it works out, then I'm probably going to end up retiring in the United States and then just traveling. Because I have a, I have a home base now, at least. That's the plan. But uh, it's the time. You know, i got to get a 4x4. got to access the land and see what I can do myself and what I will pay other people to do. So that um, I can get a decent camp. Uh, on this end, I'll be working a lot. So with going full time, YouTube's not really making a lot. So I don't know what's going to happen with YouTube. I'll try to post updates every so often. But you might not be seeing daily broadcasts. Just because things are really picking up on this end as far as work and everything else. And life in general. So, you know, if I disappear, that's what's going on. Nothing bad. Just um, busy working. And, you know, working where they actually pay you. <laughs> not like YouTube where you're working. And you sort of get paid. You don't even make minimum wage. Unless you're one of those big, big, big channels. But anyway, I wanted to let you guys know. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. I want to thank you all for joining me. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, be sure to do that. And stay tuned for updates as they happen. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Goodbye now.